Hello my soccer universe. There are some days where you have a plan and then something happens and everything gets turned upside down and today is one of those days for me. Um, you probably saw my video that I will not be posting on the day that I'm recording this. Uh, I hope it might get out because I want to preview the Copa America which starts tonight. My hope is that this video gets uploaded and published in time for before Brazil place Bolivia but I'm afraid like for the Asian Cup it will come out either during the game or right after so most of you will see it afterwards okay if that happens so be it things today were way more important so I'm gonna go a little bit through the groups uh, the tournament format give you who the bookies think are the favorites uh, favorites in there and how it will go that way and also give you my personal view on things. What am I wearing? Argentina for the 2015 and 16 Copa America. The ones that were twice reached the final against Chile and then twice lost on penalties, um, which hurt me a lot. It, I love the away jerseys, although this one, I really wish that this was the color for the entire jersey, not this a little bit more steely blue, but I still love this jersey a lot. I will probably, my first video on Copa America jerseys will probably be this one here. Uh, so I've seen the most of my South American jerseys have not shown up in any uh, collection video yet, except the Brazil jerseys, one Brazil jersey, as far as I know. So let's see. Anyway, let's look at uh, the Copa America. We have the following groups. Uh, we have in Group A the host Brazil, we have Peru, who were also at the World Cup, we have Venezuela, and we have Bolivia. Um, clearly, Brazil are the huge favorites. They are also the huge favorites to win the entire tour to tournament. I mean, the book is give them just about 50% of winning the whole darn thing. So, and that's already taking account that Neymar is not playing. So it should tell you with home field advantage and a pretty decent squad, Brazil are pretty big fav favorites here. Um, we also have Peru, who will probably try to uh, to build on their recent success in South America. You know, they had two relatively good showings at the Copa America, even eliminating Brazil at the last one. And just pulling up some more information. And then uh, they qualified for the World Cup. And at the World Cup, they were, to me, one of the most positive teams in the first round and were only unlucky to not make it out of it. Venezuela is a dangerous outsider. I mean, Rondon is probably a name to anyone. Bolivia, I think, is not doing much. I think Bolivia is one of those teams um, that really are need for a rebuild. And since it, uh, Ocopa is not played at the heights of La Paz, I don't think it's going anywhere. Group B is an interesting one and one of two that features guest teams, which is a whole other issue, but uh, we'll talk about that briefly. Um, Argent the group can contains Argentina and Colombia, also Paraguay and then Qatar, um, the winners of the Asian Cup. Uh, let's get it out of the way. I don't like that there are guest teams, especially coming from Asia, but I understand it. At the same time as it's happening, the Gold Cup is happening, so you don't get any teams from Central America. And I really would wish that those two just made a unified a South America, uh, American championship like they did in 2016. That ain't gonna happen anytime soon, although I think it would may have make a whole lot of sense to do so. Um, so therefore you're stuck, you have only 10 teams in CONMEBOL, so you need to come up with a tournament format. Next time around, this, I think it's next year, they're already making two groups of five, so there will be no guest teams, and I think it will make a better um, competition, I think. Maybe they will decide on guest teams. I mean, it has been a long tradition that the Copa America features guest teams. Uh, Japan is one of the most frequent ones. I think this is the first time the Qatar is taking place, um, taking part in... I usually like Mexico and the Copa America because that makes a whole lot more sense. If there was Mexico and the US, I think we would have a really good tournament. But we have Japan and Qatar, and yeah, Qatar rank outsiders. Uh, the bookies have Argentina favored to uh, win, win this group. Um, slightly behind is Colombia. Paraguay is already at distance, and Qatar, of course, has no chance. Um, I actually would go one further. I would say that Colombia is the better team than Argentina. I honestly 
from what I've seen in Argentina at the World Cup and uh, recent results, I don't think that Argentina is all that great. You can have Messi whatsoever. And I really hope, I'm wearing Argentina. I want Argentina to win. Really. I just don't see it happening. I really don't see it ha 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 happening unless some miracle does happen. So I think Colombia is stronger than Argentina. Argentina should make it out of the group, but there will be some trouble because Paraguay is one of those nations that usually give Argentina trouble. And in Group C, we have Uruguay, Chile. That's pretty level matchup. Uh, Uruguay, of course, slightly favored. And Ecuador, who is also not that um, bad. And Japan, which is a rank outsider in this field. So if we go by the bookies, the groups will end. Brazil ahead of Peru, ahead of Venezuela, ahead of Bolivia. Uh, Argentina ahead of Colombia, ahead of Paraguay and Qatar. And Uruguay ahead of Chile, ahead of Ecuador and ahead of Japan. Now we have three groups of four, so the top two advanced plus the two best second place teams. I mean, the format for the Copa America, it has been for a while, it's dreadful. And it gets even worse in a certain way. As now, I mean, I said that the if I go by the bookies, Venezuela will not make it out of this group. I'll give you my uh, pers personal prediction, which Venezuela will make it out of this group. So it will be the teams from Group B and Group C. But now how the quarterfinal sets up is really bugs me. We have the win of Group A, most likely Brazil, uh, playing uh, one of the two third place teams. And then we have the winner of others, uh, the runners up of groups A and group B playing each other. So, meaning in the semi final, we could very well have a group A match up uh, by design, not because it happened that way. It is absolutely by design because A1 and A2, the first two, could meet. Same goes for the lower part, where we have Argentina B1 against C2, which probably will be Chile. And then the winner of Group C will play the other third place team, which in my case turns out to be Paraguay. Again, you have the C teams matched up. I honestly think you can find a solution that it is, does not happen. I'm absolutely convinced of that. Uh, I would just, for instance, have B1 play uh, A2 instead of A1. And if you know, uh, and if you have then uh, B2 play C, C1 or something like that, you can really make it. Now, the win of Group B, that's the Argentina Colombia group, is not playing a third place team, which I think is fair because you already played Qatar. So, to kind of even this out a little bit, that you have probably the weakest team in the competition, although they won the Asian Cup, I think uh, that's fair. I also do understand why you want to keep at least the group winner of group B away from the group winner of group A. You want to have a Brazil-Argentina Brazil final, and if the two win their groups, they will not meet until the final. So let's go through the bookies, and then i give you my personal uh, preview. So the quarterfinals, according to if it all goes pure chalk, we have Brazil against Ecuador, we have Peru against Colombia, we have Argentina against Chile, we have Uruguay against Paraguay. I think Brazil wins over Ecuador, and Colombia would win over uh, Peru. Uh, setting up a brazil colombia uh, semi-final and then the other one i know this sounds crazy now but i would um, the book is favor argentina over chile so argentina would advance and uruguay of course favored over paraguay so with argentina uruguay in the second semi-final which is a super juicy wonderful matchup between neighbors i think um the three nations that are close to brazil i mean brazil to the center of Brazil. It will be Brazil, it will be uh, Uruguay, it will be Argentina. I think those three will have an advantage overall because they will have a lot of uh, fans coming. If it goes by the book is Brazil and Argentina per prevail. Brazil plays Argentina in the final and you can guess who will win that. The hosts Brazil. But honestly I don't see it happening like this. If you ask me Group A will end with all wins for Brazil. Uh, Peru will get four points. I have them a win against Bolivia, a draw against Venezuela, a uh, loss against Brazil. I have that Venezuela will get two draws. I'm not quite convinced in Venezuela, although I could also see that they end up in third place, uh, in second spot here. But I have them advancing with two draws and Bolivia gets the one draw against Venezuela. Group B. I think Colombia will win this one. I have, and um, part of it is also the way it's scheduled. The first matchup is Argentina against Colombia. 
I think this will be a draw. Then Colombia plays Qatar. So Colombia will get a win. Argentina will play Paraguay, which reeks a little bit of draw. Paraguay will just close up. I think this is the match match of that hinges upon either Argentina or Colombia advancing. So I actually think that Argentina will struggle, will get just a draw. And in the last game they will uh, of course beat Qatar. Whereas Colombia will get wins against both of these opponents. Paraguay with the draw against Argentina will also end the group with four points and will easily advance. Now the last group I think it will basically come down to Uruguay against Chile and I think Uruguay will win all these games. Probably nastily, but they will do so. Chile will finish second and I think that Ecuador and Japan will play a draw and that means uh, both of them are eliminated. So I have uh, the third place teams of Venezuela and Paraguay moving on. Giving the following, following bracket, Brazil against Paraguay, Peru against Argentina, Colombia against Chile and Uruguay against Ve uh, Venezuela. I was about to say Venezia. Uh, I think Brazil will win over Paraguay. Peru will somehow edge Argentina. Um, two years ago, when it really counted that Arch Argentina gets something, or Peru could get a draw in Buenos Aires, I think that they ain't dangerous enough to edge past, past Argentina, uh, which would deprive us of a Brazil Argentina semifinal. But Brazil Peru is also not that bad. Colombia will probably oust Chile. And Uruguay will have um, little trouble with uh, Venezuela. Then Brazil, Peru, Brazil will win that. Colombia, I think, will beat Uruguay. So this is a super tight one. And then Brazil will go on to win it. This is how I think the tournament will be going. Um, quickly, um, where are the games played? The games are played in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, first in Maracanã, where the final will be played in Sao Paulo. The opening game, I don't think it's in the Corinthians arena. We have in Belo Horizonte, there's a semi-final played. Uh, the other one is played in Porto Alegre and Salvador. So it's actually much more concentrated on the population centers to the south. Only Salvador is sticking out. There are no games, for instance, in Manaus or Natal and all those places where we had a World Cup. Um, is it a missed chance? Maybe. On the other side, you know, the Maracana is f slowly falling to disuse, so maybe it's not a bad idea to have that. Anyway, uh, I personally probably will not see much of the Copa America because the kick of times, I think the earliest one that I see here is at 9 in the evening here, which uh, might work for some games, might not work for others. I mean, I see here on the second match, uh, uh, second match day, uh, we have uh, Venezuela, Peru uh, early, and then uh, Paraguay, Qatar, you know, not the greatest games. The greatest games, of course, are at midnight. So I probably will see only highlights, but I will try to keep you updated of what's happening. Similar style as for the Women's World Cup. I will watch highlights and I will make brief videos summarizing the Copa America. And I will keep it up with the Women's World Cup, which I will watch maybe a little bit more. I still have no confirmation of who is going to broadcast the Africa Cup. I know that the Gold Cup will be shown on the zone. Honestly, I decide the Gold Cup is the tour to the tournament that I'm going to skip over. And now I will probably do a weekly roundup for the Gold Cup because there it becomes a Mickey Mouse tournament, especially if the if the US are fielding uh, also ran squad and you know the other teams. I'm sorry. There used to be times when I thought the Gold Cup was exciting. Um, this year I'm not into the Gold Cup. So yeah. Anyway, let me know how you think that the Copa America will go. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.